a new episode and today is kind of twofold. I wanted to give an update on the channel. It's March 16th. And uh, I also do a review in the car, a food review. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts has some new cold brew and some new avocado toast. So we're on the way to pick that up. I'm actually on my way to work. So I'm going to give those a shot today. But anyway, I also wanted to give it the channel update. So we're going to start with that first. So like I said, it's March 16th and uh, we have been moved in for oh just under a month in our new house out in the middle of nowhere um, I mean there's civilization it's not that bad it's not like we're on a lonely farm road but as you can see outside my window here in past car videos there's always been like buildings you know I see buildings and shit there's there's houses somewhere close to the road somewhere deep deep into the woods, but that's what there is out here, a lot of trees. <coughs> so, it's not like desolate or anything, it's not like we're in a farmhouse and surrounded by farmland for 10 miles and that's our, where our next neighbor is 10 miles away or anything like that, something like that. But it takes 15 minutes to get anywhere. Um, everything's pretty much scattered. Um, we're about 40 minutes west of Milwaukee. So, I can tell you, if nobody put two and two together, in these roads, these roads are going to have me adjusting my phone a lot. So, if you see a shift like this, <laughs> it's because... These roads suck out here. These roads suck in Wisconsin, period. So anyway, there we go. For now. Uh, I had my phone fall out plenty of times. See, it's already starting to... Maybe if I start all the way up here, that's ridiculous. Anyway. Um, yeah, so if you didn't put two and two together, we were actually in a suburb before called West Dallas. And I had spent about five years out in West Dallas. It was convenient as far as having everything you need around you for the most part. And uh, had a good auto mechanic out there. And so I still, uh, still work in that general area so it was also convenient for work but now I've got like about a 25 minute drive each way instead of a 6 minute drive well, that's ok um, out here you know about a good solid 15 minutes to find anything and not everything is all clustered in one in one area out here like if I wanted to run to a bunch of places to get burgers I'd probably have to go to like 2 different towns for that, um, you know, if I want to do a video review on burgers or something again, chicken sandwiches, and forget about Popeyes, there ain't no Popeyes out here, uh, closest Popeyes is probably 20 some odd minutes away, so, um, I said it, you know, uh, in the video that we were moving, and I think on my socials, that we'd be back in the new studio with new stuff at the end of March, and that's relatively true. Uh, you're not gonna see any studio videos until actually the beginning of April. Very beginning of April. And uh, that'll be also the start of season three, the one year anniversary of the channel. That's the other thing too is I'm driving into the sun on my way to work and I'm driving into the sun on my way home. Which kind of sucks. I'm not a... I don't like the sun. But anyway, um, the road should be a little bit more smooth now. 
not as bumpy. It's still gonna be bumpy, but not as bumpy. Um, yeah, so uh, beginning of April, season three, and that's when you'll start seeing, uh, I'm gonna start off with uh, just a, a little tour of what the new studio looks like, which, you know, I showed you in that last video, the, the studio was basically a, a bar in my basement. Uh, it was the entertainment hub of that house. Um, the new studio is basically going to be a bedroom, and um, it's going to be a little bit more compact. Uh, no bar. It's going to be used for recording and, and gaming and like any other entertainment, drinking and stuff like that. Uh, we have like an open concept house so we can set up, set up out in the living room slash kitchen when we have people over and have parties and stuff. So and it's so close to that room anybody should ever want to play any games but yeah so there were some changes that I made um, I said that I thought I would probably consolidate I got rid of most of my minis and well we're going to cover all that um, what I ended up doing I might do a review for each of the new little toys I got too just so you guys can check that shit out see what I did in case anybody's interested. Um, I was questioning if I should get some older systems and start collecting games, but I don't, I don't have the room for that. And I, you know, honestly, like, I don't want one of those rooms where the shelves or the walls are just covered from floor to ceiling with shelving and from wall to wall and just all full of games, like... I like physical games for what I've got, um, but as far as older stuff goes, like, I can't see myself doing that. That's too much. But anyway, so we'll get, we'll get there. We'll get to that. So, that's the channel update, basically. Um, beginning of April, April 1st, or whatever, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd beginning of April. So the beginning of April, the third season, the one year anniversary. Until then, uh, we're going to sprinkle in some reviews, some videos. It's going to be a very bumpy road here. Um, stuff like this, not in the studio. And it's going to kind of go back so like I said at the beginning of the year where I'm not going to get the content out um, regularly, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm still trying to work on some other things. Of course, this was kind of unexpected, kind of part of a plan, but that plan didn't uh, come to fruition. Um, but yeah, the moving was kind of unexpected and uh, I'm still working on some other things. So, so and every time I get close to accomplishing uh, another goal, uh, a goal that I've been working on now for the better part of three months, uh, I always get a setback. So it's a setback and it never resolves itself. All I want to do is get back to some content made on a more regular basis so uh, it's not going to be every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday quite yet um, hopefully it will be soon but uh, until then it's just going to be like I said it's going to be kind of sprinkled in some random stuff I might you know do some twitch here and there um, I'm not gonna, like I was gonna go, go back to Ghost of uh, Tsushima, which I will, but that's probably gonna be at my own time. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna randomly play like just random video games. I'm not gonna sit there and play them all the way through for people to watch or anything. It's gonna be random 
random shit, like random let's plays. I don't know, we'll see, but uh, so yeah, that's the update for the channel. And now we're getting close to uh, the Dunkin' Donuts here, so I'm gonna pull in and uh, get this uh, new chocolate stout cold brew and a slice of avocado toast, and we're gonna see how that shit is on the flip. Okay, we're back in the car and stopped at Duncan. As promised, this is the chocolate stout, sweet cream topped cold brew. Uh, it looks like whipped cream on the top, which I usually don't get whipped cream. Maybe that's exactly what sweet cream really is, it's just whipped cream. Usually when you get, I think when I've gone to Starbucks and I've gotten something with like a, uh, their cold brew with a sweet cream, it, it, it doesn't resemble whipped cream. This resembles whipped cream. It's hard to see it, I can't tilt it. Definitely goes on the lips like whipped cream does. It's a very sweet whipped cream. Whipped, whipped cream. Um, I gotta get on the freeway here. Now at this point I'm like 12 minutes away from work. So what are my thoughts on the chocolate stout? A sweet cream topped cold brew from Dunkin' Donuts. It's pretty good. I had their, um, their regular cold brew. And it wasn't that good. I mean, compared to compared to Dunkin' or I mean, compared to Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts cold brew coffee was not that good. That's good. The sweet cream. I'm not like a piping hot coffee type person. I prefer cold coffee. I especially prefer cold brew coffee now that that's really starting to take shape. Kind of starting to take over from the iced coffee. A lot of shaking going on. That's just how it is on the highways of Wisconsin. Avocado toast. So it's a toasted sourdough with an avocado spread and they got some everything bagel seasoning on top, which sounds amazing. It smells good. Oh, it smells like lemon. <laughs> if you're familiar with the channel, uh, I talk about lemons. I'm not very fond of lemons. I'm not a lemon person. I like squeezing some lemons on like a fish fry. I like, you know, maybe squeezing it into an unsweet nice tea or something like that. I like lemonade. I just don't like food that tastes like lemon. I just, I don't, but all right. The avocado toast from Dunkin' Donuts going in. Big bite! Remember the guy, actually I'm watching on YouTube. Years ago, this phrase was "big bite," and then, believe it or not, he moved from my where I want to live, Colorado, to basically, he practically became my next door neighbor in the Milwaukee West Dallas area, and then he just he did a few more videos, and then just just, just, just disappeared. Anyway, it's very lemon forward. I like my avocado spread or avocado guacamole. Lime. I decided to use a shit ton of lemons. Other than that, Soggy in the here. I could have toasted it a little bit more. Other than that, is it good? Hell yeah. It's actually really good. 
I could probably I could probably do this. Every time I stop by Dunkin'. Well, a better, healthier option than any of their sandwiches. So, thumbs up on the cold brew, chocolate stout, sweet cream. Thumbs up on the Dunkin' Donuts, avocado toast as well. Good stuff. Nice, good, good breakfast to eat on the way to work. So, that's going to do it for today. The channel update, the Dunkin' Donuts, new featured items. Hopefully the, hopefully the avocado toast will stay. I don't know if that's limited or not, but I'm pretty sure the cold brew is going to stay. If you like the content that you saw this morning, well, whenever you're watching this, it's morning for me. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. If you didn't like it, click the thumbs down, but don't unsubscribe if you subscribe, please. Just keep my numbers going, at least plateaued where they've been. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get into some more regular content soon, trust me. Anyway. Um, comment down below if you've had any of these items from Dunkin' Donuts or if you suggest anything else I got like a Charlie cold brew no idea what the fuck that means let me know or do you not like Dunkin' do you like Starbucks let me know what you get from Starbucks maybe I'll do a Starbucks sometime maybe I'll do uh, you know when this channel started there was supposed to be some in car food reviews and then it really didn't do a whole lot maybe I should, maybe I should get back to doing that quick bite Anyway, uh, subscribe, share with your friends, like button, dislike button, comment below, all that good stuff. This is the most talking I've done any morning in a very long time. Well, that's going to do it, and we'll see you guys next time.